Welcome to Pumpkin Snatch. <laughs> so, today's video is episode 3 of Chainsaw Man. And man, there was some interesting stuff that happened this episode. <laughs> um, if you guys like the video, I'd appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. I read all of your all's comments. And I try to respond to you guys when I can. <laughs> and consider following me on Twitter, TikTok, and join my Discord. All those connections are in my link tree, which is in my description, okay? Alright, let's get into it, okay? <laughs> so, it looks like we pick up right when the monster was defeated. The big blob monster thingy. Um, that was taken out with that big hammer. <laughs> Anyway, Power's pretty interesting. Um, I'm not sure what to think about her just yet. She's kind of a bit much, but we'll see. <laughs> so, it seems like, um, the way they took out that monster, or for some reason they got in trouble or scolded for it, and I thought they should just take it out, but it seems like it might be a little bit more complicated. Um, you guys have to let me know. Maybe I'm missing something, but anyway. <laughs> For now, they kind of got scolded and come to find out Power isn't really allowed to leave or be on her own. And I can kind of see why with this episode, she got into a lot of stuff in a few minutes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we also get Dingy, his motivation <laughs> in this episode. And it's probably going to be the recurring motivation going forward. <laughs> um, we don't know. Boobs, he is a boob guy. <laughs> and so that's kind of his main mission. Like, it's kind of funny. Like, first she's like, ah, I don't care about this. And then the next thing you know, she's like, I'll let you touch mine if you save my cat. And man, <laughs> he put a 180. And he's like, let's go. <laughs> right now. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's his motivation, and it's so simple and straightforward, but I like it, so that's really cool. We also find out the boss lady, um, I can't remember her name, but the boss lady, um, it seems like she has a soft spot for Denji. Um, <laughs> maybe she, he really does remind her of her dog or something. <laughs> She calls him a new pup. Maybe it's just the young, dumb, trying to live free kind of attitude. And, um, maybe that's why she likes him. But the other guy, uh, what was his name? Uh, anyway, he's not too fond of him. But something tells me that's going to change over time. He's taking the job way too seriously. And then she's like, you know what? I'm just trying to kick back, live the good life. Pop some boobs and <laughs> call it day. So, hey, each to their own, right? <laughs> anyway, um, we move on and we come to find out that Dingy is betrayed by power and he was taken to be given to this bat demon creature thing um, because it took her cat and that's really awful, you know? Um, but I don't think it's worth betraying him, like, taking him to be fed like that. And so, obviously, things don't go according to plan. Um, did she just kind of messed up in the beginning? Um, the creature drinks its blood and kind of tries to leave. But come to find out, he needs more. That did she taste bad? And so, and Power kind of gets sad because he eats her cat. Like, anyway, after all she did. And so... She kind of like giving up. We also saw like a quick flashback of her where she was kind of more feral, kind of more wild. And so she built a close bond with her cat. And so her cat was taken to eat. And that was really sad. So hopefully she gets it back. Hopefully it survived. I don't know how. The creature did swallow, so we'll have to see. And um, as he eats power, then she kind of just loses it and becomes Chainsaw Man. And he just tears through the city against this big bat creature and they have this epic fight. It's awesome to see 
like blood and flesh is flying everywhere. The dude loses his arm all over again. <laughs> he needed uh, um, blood to regrow his arm and he lost it again <laughs> to Denji. So he's pretty pissed about that. Um, and so the monster's kind of smart. He tries to use people as his environment a couple times to get Denji to stop since Denji keeps trying to save them. But come to find out, Denji doesn't care about them at all. He's just like, look, I'm just trying to cop the kill, man. I'm just trying to get this job done. I don't care about these people, so it's wild. Anyway, he pretty much guts that creature, and the blood goes spilling everywhere from his stomach. Pretty graphic, pretty violent, <laughs> you know, but I guess that's what to expect if you have three chainsaws out of your body, right? <laughs> So we'll have to see what happens um, with the relationship going forward between Denji and Power. I mean, technically, he got rid of the creature. Um, I'm gonna assume that they're not dead because he swallowed and didn't chew them. Um, so we'll have to see. And is Denji gonna just forgive Power? Like, how's it gonna go? She, she kind of betrayed him, like, betrayed up. <laughs> so, <sighs> wow. It is interesting between all of them. But anyway, if you guys like this episode, please like, comment, subscribe. I would really like to hear from all of you, okay? Alright guys, to the next one. Bye!